the iPhone 13. Well, it's actually one of the best phones that you can buy right now. Well, it's because it's kind of like a flagship that has just been launched and given the fact that it's almost a one and a half year old phone does give it the reduced or discounted price advantage too. I mean, almost everything about this phone is still perfect to good with some flaws that won't be an issue for most of the users. It's design, it's very much industrial and well in line with Apple's new design schematic. The flat-sided aluminum frame with glass sandwich looks clean and it's all put together with precision and watertight IP68 ceiling and it's also durable. Now this unit I'm using for review has been used for more than a year and still it looks clean. And actually this phone wasn't used with the case and even then the matte rail has little to no scratches and same is the case with the back glass. So from a durability perspective, things are good. And here, this is not a very heavy phone too. It weighs just 174 grams and overall this form factor and design is perfect for 2023. Now the next good thing that you're surely gonna notice with this phone is its display. This is a 6.1 inch OLED display which has a resolution of 2532 by 1170 and here this panel is a great one. Its peak brightness is more than sufficient for outdoor usage and overall I'm totally happy with the quality of this panel. There is no tint effect or off-axis viewing issues and hence it's great for watching videos, playing games, browsing the web, etc. Now here the only flaw that you can say is that the refresh rate is at 60 hertz which is actually not a common thing for phones as of now because most of the phones nowadays have higher refresh rate. But when you check the iPhone 14, it's also using the same panel and here it's not a slow jittering experience. In fact, it's overall smooth for scrolling and stuff and even though I do wish a higher refresh rate panel was used, well to be frank, you won't have any issues with this 60Hz refresh rate. And that's the case with the performance too. In fact, the performance of this phone is still rock solid. The A15 Bionic chip used in the iPhone 13 as a 6-core CPU and 4-core GPU which still provides flagship level performance. Well, this processor is a future-proof one and that's a great advantage for the iPhone 13. I'm pretty sure that this phone won't be having any performance issues for at least 3 to 4 more years and even the software support is going to be maybe for 4 to 5 more years. And as of now, if you compare the performance with any newly launched phones, the iPhone 13 is going to stay neck on neck and even with moderate to heavy usage, the phone doesn't get very warm. Now the RAM is 4GB and for iOS it's more than enough and also for storage, well it starts at 128GB. So from the internal perspective, the iPhone 13 is still holding well. So that's all good, but then what about the cameras? Because nowadays, the camera system in phones is very important and here the iPhone 13 does shine well even in the camera department. The backside has two cameras and here the main sensor is a 12 megapixel wide angle camera with f1.6 aperture and sensor shift optical image stabilization. And this camera sensor is still an impressive one. In any lighting conditions, the photos this camera captures is just good. Colors are sharp and punchy and the details are maintained and also the overall appeal is not over processed or saturated. The processing done here is actually good and I prefer the photos that the iPhone 13 captures with the main sensor. And actually, even if you compare with any newly launched phones, a quick snap does look very similar. So the main camera is a solid one for photos and in fact it's the best for video recording. You can record 4K 60fps crisp and stable videos and here the output is just great. Well, when you compare with the iPhone 14 series, well, in the video side, you're not gonna get action mode and also higher resolution cinematic modes, but those stuff are actually rarely used by majority of users and hence this main camera is still one of the best for photos and videos. And also the 12 megapixel ultrawide is a decent one too if the environment is not so dull lit. And here, this ultrawide camera's flexibility is something I prefer to use for capturing landscape shots. Now, while moving to the front camera in this notch, well, it's also a 12 megapixel camera which has f2.2 aperture and this camera does take pretty good selfies. It is a fixed focus camera but here the output with both photos and videos is good. In fact, the video output is so good such that you can even do a bit of vlogging with it. So overall, this camera package in the iPhone 13 is still pretty strong for 2023. Then this phone's other future proofing stuff is that the phone does have 5G support and the Wi-Fi version is Wi-Fi 6 and the Bluetooth version is 5 and here the unlocking method offered is face unlock and also the speaker system provided is the dual speaker setup which actually outputs decent sound. And finally for the battery, well, the capacity is 3240mAh and from my usage, which is a moderate to heavy style, I was getting approximately 6-7 to seven hours of screen on time. And while charging, the phone does support fast wired charging using lightning cable 
and there is also MagSafe charging support. And also the number of SIMs we can use with this phone is two. So as you can see, overall the iPhone 13 is a very solid option for 2023. Its new iteration doesn't have much improvements and here as I said in the beginning, the pricing advantage makes this phone a great one to consider. In India, the official starting price is approximately 70,000 Indian rupees, but you can actually get much better deals and even a second hand version can be grabbed for a greater price. So from that perspective and everything that this phone offers, well as of now, it is one of the best phones to pick. That's all for this video. Hope you liked it. If so, like is much appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it does help our channel and also you won't miss our future contents. See you again in the next one. Till then, bye.